I've got some paint left over um, for the new colour scheme that I'm testing out for the big project I've got coming up. So it's basically turquoises, blues, a blue, uh, purple, white and silver. And the colours are amazing. So I have just done a beautiful patchwork swipe using these colours, but I've got some left. So I'm going to do a flip cup. All the paints have got silicon in them. So I'm going to do a flip cup um, and hopefully just create something really pretty um, with these colours. So I've got a very dark turquoise there, a phthalo turquoise. I've got the iridescent blue green from Pebio, a manganese blue, white, silver and ultramarine violet. So really, really pretty colours. Let's just get these into a bit of an order that I'm happy with. Right, I've got some little paper cups, so I'm going to layer up these cups, but I'm going to layer each one a little bit differently. So I think if I start with, I'll start this end. I haven't got a lot of each colour, so they all, they'll all they all be slightly different anyway. In fact, I don't think I've got enough for five. Maybe I've only got enough for three cups. Let's start this end. Right, I do have some more paint left, not much, so I'm just going to layer, try layering one more. I've run out of my phthalo turquoise, but I've got every other colour still. So I am going to get my fifth cup in after all. Um, I've got very little of some of them, but I think it's fine. a 40 centimeter square canvas um so two options one is that i just put the puddles in the middle and tilt it out to get a pretty design or i put them down one side and then tilt it what shall i do do you know i've done so many landscapes recently where i'm tilting in one direction let's not do that let's just puddle them all very randomly and see what happens So I will then just tilt them over, tilt them outwards so that the paint goes inward. So then I've got the nice pool of paint right in the centre. Wow, beautiful colours. I'm just tipping these upside down because there's always a little bit of extra paint left in the cups. So I might as well have that little bit of extra paint on the canvas so that it, I can use it as a flow extender. I'm worried I've got a too, a too big a canvas because there's actually not that much paint there. So I think I'll make it join into one big puddle and then anything I've got left in my cups, I've just got a little tiny bit, I'll use as a flow extender. Right, let's just tilt this just to get that as one puddle. Now, the reason I really enjoy doing flip cups with several cups is because you get this design. You get these lines in between where the colours separate and I really, really like that. Right, I've got some silver left. So let's use this, Just put, as I said, just put a flow extender down around the edge now. So I'm just going to try and stretch it to start with. So you can see it's just pushing against that flow extender quite nicely. I'm 
make a corner catcher so I've just got a piece of paper here I'm just folding it in half and I'm going to put that on that corner so I'm going to tip the paint towards that corner and the corner catcher will just stop the paint going off over the edge so I can keep as much of it on as possible at the moment. So now that big puddle is now stretched right to that corner. So let's do the same with this corner. So I'll get to the point where my puddle will extend over the entire canvas and the flow extender then will be rolling off over the edge like that. Perfect. So I think at this point I'm going to torch. I'm going to get a few cells coming up before I stretch the paint back this way. Stretch it. Just actually just stretch it a tiny bit back. Actually, let's get rid of this bit. This is still flow extender here, and you can tell it is because it's a bit muddy. The colours have blended a little bit. So let's just get rid of some of that. There we go. It's gone. Fact, I keep changing my mind. I think I'm actually going to get more of the canvas covered before I torch because there's already some really big and interesting shapes on this design and I quite like it when you have a, a sort of a variety a mixture of cells of sizes so if I've already got some large cells and some patterns and then I torch I will then get some smaller ones so I have them all side by side Right, that is now the five cups stretched. And that is really, really pretty. There's a lot going on and I haven't even torched yet. Really quite happy with this already. You can sort of see where the edges of the cups are still, I think. So I think that's an edge. That is definitely an edge. That is there. I'm not sure. They've all kind of blended, but they all create such a lovely pattern now. Right, let's torch it, see what happens. Now, this is absolutely beautiful. Where there was all that white, you've got the deep turquoise and the purple coming up through it. Really, really love that. I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't think I'm going to tilt it because I think I could just wreck it. Let's just sort the edges out and then I'm going to get you in for a close up. I'm absolutely over the moon with this colour scheme. Now, can you see something funny in this? If you look at the white, I don't know if it's just me, but I think it looks like someone running. I've got my the head, the arms, the body and the two legs. Now, I've seen that and I can't unsee it. So it's, yeah, there's someone, a white person running through there. Um, so let me show you up close. The set, my favourite cells have to be these. Absolutely beautiful white and over the top of those other colours. That was just that crazy white lacing that appeared. So who knew there was so much beautiful colour underneath that? I was worried there was just going to be a block of white in this. Um, the colours are beautiful. Um, there really isn't any muddying. Um, and if there is, it just makes another really pretty colour, whatever that may be, another form of turquoise or a purplier turquoise. Um, so this colour scheme, 100% going to use this for my, my big project that I'm coming up. I'm going to be doing a piece where I'm using seven different techniques on the same canvas 
but all with the same colour scheme. So it's a way of kind of comparing different fluid art techniques. Um, I think there's even some eyes. And is he blowing a bubble? She, he, whoever it is. Right, I'll be back when it's dry. So all I can see is the white man. It's all I can see in this painting. Um, so yeah, his head or her, front arm and then running. So look, the back arm is even bent exactly like a runner would be. Body and then his one leg there and one leg there. That's all I can see um, in this painting. So let's, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna try and turn it upside down just so that it that isn't too distracting. Oh, it is though, isn't it? Now it just looks like an upside down man. Oh, okay. Let's go with it like that. Let's try and forget the man and let's try and look at the actual painting um, because it's beautiful. The cells are absolutely gorgeous. The colours are fab. That is still my favourite bit where you've got the dark turquoise and purple cells um, that have come up through the white. So just this white, beautiful white lacing around the cells. So pretty. You can see there the purple and the white are mixing slightly. So you've got a paler purple. I mean, you've got a really beautiful dark turquoise river going through there. And look at just how dark that turquoise can get. It almost looks black. It's beautiful. Really pretty. Yeah, absolutely love these colours. Really excited going forward that this colour scheme is what I'm going to use for my, my big project coming up. Um, let me know what you think. Am I imagining the man? There we go on its side. Am I imagining? I, I don't think I am. That's all I can see. But let me know what you think. What do you think of the piece? What do you think of the colour? What do you think of the man? <laughs> Great. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please hit the thumbs up button if you like it and take care, everyone. Bye.